Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video you will be seeing me organize our brand new fridge because if you have been following along you know we moved uh, into this new home about two three months ago and our old refrigerator was giving us some problems so we decided to just go ahead take the plunge and upgrade to a French door refrigerator from a side by side. So I will be sharing how I organized it. So this is not going to be the typical refrigerator organizational video because you usually don't start off with a brand new fridge but in this case I am. So you will see a lot of trial and error of me trying to organize all the food into this new space and I'm trying to play around with some of the containers that I had in our previous fridge. So yeah I will also be sharing any tips I have along the way and if you are new here and enjoy cleaning and organizing videos such as this one I would love for you to consider subscribing and yeah let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I will be doing is wiping down the inside of the refrigerator and a lot of you might be laughing at me for even doing this because it was a brand new fridge but there was a lot of little like lint and um, packaging debris that was left behind so I just wanted to make sure that it was completely clean before I went to put any food in it. So here you see I already washed all the produce and fruits so we also have all the food that was in our old refrigerator out on the countertop as well as in some coolers that actually that's my first tip for you guys if you are going to clean out your refrigerator even though I recommend working in sections you might want to go ahead and pull out any coolers or cooling bags that you guys have and make use of them to put the food in there while you clean because Sometimes it might take a little bit longer than you would like and you don't want to risk the food going bad while you clean. And like I said, I will be trying to use the bins I had from our previous refrigerator. So I have two sets of the egg um, containers. I have two of these more narrow containers. I have a little bit more of a wider one. Two of these um, clear containers with a lid on it. And then this other one where I like to put our berries because it's sort of like a strainer. So it helps to keep the fruit fresh for longer periods. I also have a couple of other bins inside of my drawers that I think I might be able to pull out because we recently did an Ikea haul um, because I'm wanting to organize everything and anything in this house. So if I need those, I can go ahead and grab them and just maybe switch them out. I really like these egg containers because first of all they're clear and they help with knowing how many eggs you have left because unless you have see-through vision then you wouldn't know how many are left inside of those cartons that they come in from the grocery store. So I really like these and we go through a lot of eggs in this house. My kids love them so that's why I have two sets of them for a total of four dozen. And all of the containers that I just showed you and that you will be seeing throughout this video, I got them from HomeGoods or Ross. They tend to have the best prices, but I will also leave a link to some of these containers on Amazon. They're not that much more expensive, so if you'd rather buy on Amazon, then just click the link down in the description box. And here's just a friendly reminder to wash your hands after handling eggs or any raw meats. Now moving to the side door, I had these yogurts for my kids sitting out on the counter so I wanted to go ahead and get those in the fridge um, fast so that they wouldn't go bad and I am simply trying to make them all face forward and group the like ones together. That's just an easy thing to do that makes everything look nice and organized. So definitely try this tip out when you go to organizing your own fridge. Make sure you try and front everything up as if you were inside of a store and try to get everything to face the same direction just so it looks more nice. I'm using the rest of the racks on the doors for the condiments and again I am just trying to figure out a method. Usually try to group my items by category so my dressings in one area and then my sauces or hot sauce and all of that in another area so that's what I'm just trying to figure out here. Now this fridge does have some weird shapes to their shelves so I'm just trying to figure out what fits where. These 
these wine bottles are pretty tall so I was trying to figure out where they would fit and it turned out that the shelf was just the perfect size for them so I went ahead and put them there and then the extra ones that were still nice and sealed I was able to roll them underneath the bottom drawer so that worked out really well but if you wanted to you could also get one of those wine organizational bins the ones where you can put the bottles on their side and then stack them up on top of each other. So we had just a couple of containers with leftover food in the fridge that needed to be thrown away. So I am just doing that now and then bringing them over to the sink so that I can wash them out later. I really like that this refrigerator had a drawer in the center that can be used for deli or you can also use it for fruits. Um, you can actually change the setting up top inside of the refrigerator for the setting that you need it. But I decided to use it for deli so I am going to be putting all of the cheese and deli meat in here as well as some dried chiles that we use a lot in Mexican food. So you guys will just see me playing around in here trying to find a good configuration for all of this. And for the most part, you will probably find yourself doing the same thing because it's really just a um, trial and error method. You have to play around with the food items that you have and try to see where they fit the best and what's more easily accessible for you. So definitely don't feel alone if you try and tackle your refrigerator and you really don't know where to start. Just play with things, move them around, and then eventually I guarantee you will find the best location for them. Our previous refrigerator was a side-by-side -side, so it had two deep of uh, drawers down at the bottom and I used to use one for all of our fruits and then the other for the vegetables so I thought I would do the same in this refrigerator but since the drawers are less deep um, the fruit did not fit in there because we do eat a lot of fruit in this household so I went ahead and just pulled out the deeper clear bins that I was already using in one of my cabinet drawers and then just replaced those with one of the new IKEA bins that we had just purchased.
So both of my colanders were full of fruit and I was not able to wash the strawberries and the raspberries when I did the rest of the fruit. So now I'm getting to rinsing all of that off and I will start prepping this fruit because I find that if it's ready to go and we can just open the refrigerator and reach for the food and go straight to eating it without having to peel it and cut it up and all of that, then we're more likely to finish up all this fruit before it goes bad. And that's definitely another tip for you guys. Try this out if you haven't done so already. I also like to use a chalk marker. This one in particular is amazing. So I will link it down below in case you are interested, but I like to use it and label all of the containers so that it's easy to see what's in them. Obviously these containers are clear and you can see, but it just makes everything look more nice and cohesive. So I just like doing that extra step. And it also wipes down super easily with just a wet rag. <laughs> into the freezer section I left one side of this lower bin for all of the meats so I just went ahead and lined everything up and then on the other side I decided to use that for the excessive amount of cheese that we have from Mexico because if you ever heard of cotija cheese that's actually where we are from and every time we go there or somebody goes there they bring us some cheese because it's just delicious and so we have it in the freezer so that we can thaw it out when we need to. For the upper basket in the freezer section I am using the longer containers. I actually got these over a year ago when I needed to store all of my breast milk but those are long gone so now I'm reusing them for some ice cream and hot pockets and then on the other side of the basket I am putting all of our fruits and vegetables as well as some frozen waffles that we had. And now for the big reveal, I am so excited at just how beautiful everything turned out. It's easily accessible and as soon as you open the refrigerator doors, everything is within sight. You can see everything nicely labeled with that chalk marker. I definitely recommend you guys try that out if you haven't just yet. It really makes a world of a difference and also if you guys notice, I have all of my leftovers up at the top and the reason for that is if you keep your leftovers at eye level, which is this shelf right here, then you are more likely to actually eat those leftovers and they won't just sit there until the next refrigerator clean out day. So definitely try that out if you also have a ton of leftovers like we do.
hope you enjoyed this refrigerator organization video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And subscribe if you're new because you don't want to miss out on my pantry organization video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.